एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियन मेम्ब्रेन इन दोज एनिमल्स एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियन मेम्ब्रेन आर प्रेजेंट कॉल्ड एम्योटा लाइक रेप्टाइल्स एविज एंड मेमल्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन टू दिस ग्रुप एम्योटा इन दोज एनिमल्स एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेम्ब्रेन आर एबसेंट एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड एन एम्योट स्पाइसिस एंड एम्पीबियंस आर इंक्लूडेड टू द एन एम्योट एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेम्ब्रेन आर प्रेजेंट सराउंडेड द एम्ब्रियो आउटरमोस्ट लेयर इज कॉल्ड the amnion amnion secretes the amniotic fluid the amniotic fluid provides the natural swimming pool to the embryo which is formed by the amino synthesis process genetic disorders and sex of the embryo can also be determined with the amniotic fluid then yolk sac yolk sac is a another extra embryonic membrane but yolk is absent in this layer it is the first hemopoietic organ first of all during the amniotic stage blood cells are formed into the yolk sac then allantois allantois is the another extra embryonic membrane this membrane is related to the excretion and respiration outermost layer of the embryonic membrane is called chorion in the upper part of the chorion finger like projections are present these are called as chorionic villi after the implantation this layer is called decidua so that the placenta of the mammals including the human beings is called decidua placenta chorionic villi embedded into the endometrium of the uterus and form the placenta placenta is the temporary connection between the embryo and mother fetus then then mechanical support and physiological support between the embryo and mother tissue let's see the embryo and the outer layer of the embryo is called amnion amnion secretes the amniotic fluid this fluid provides the natural swimming pool to the embryo and also provides a protection then this is the yolk sac it is the first hemopoietic organ and then allantois allantois related to the excretion and outermost layer of the embryo which is called the chorion finger like projections are present there these are called as chorionic villi and chorionic villi are embedded into the endometrium of the uterus thus form the placenta it is the mechanical and physiological connection between the fetus and the mother